What made you pick quantum computing? The short answer, which I'll start with, is that I find it it's uh, it's right at the uh, intersection of mathematics, or I should say rather, yeah, applied math and com computer science or, or, or computational math in a way. So my bit of a background, I did my undergraduate. I started off as a computer science major, and then I added math as a second major. And I got interested, uh, very interested in the intersection of these two disciplines. I should say uh, the first time when I heard about it, I think the whole claims of quantum advantage or quantum supremacy or the so-called exponential speed up. I think that attracted me the most. And we had one lecture on quantum computing and they sort of described then how a lot of the conventional ways that we are used to thinking about computing, they are just completely different when you move to the quantum computing side of things. I think the most common misconception that is often uh, portrayed in, in communication in the news outlets are quite a bit is this whole idea of you can first is that oh pe people simplify it a lot so there's there's this notion of oh in quantum mechanics or in the quantum computing side of thing you can just try all possible solutions to this uh, problem that you're trying to solve in parallel that is simply just not true because on a quantum computer even some simple things are not allowed like nonlinear simply computing like x squared on a classical computer you just make two copies and multiply them together on a quantum computer it's like it's not possible really you have to kind of drop your old way of thinking soda or you have to unlearn what you've learned i think we're going to have to revisit a lot of our underlying assumptions about computer science and quantum computing like even though someone might make it sound that oh anyone can get in and it's very easy all you need to do is basics of coding that is not simply not true if you want to make any good progress you would need to know the foundation which as you mentioned math physics and even computer science when i say computer science i don't mean just coding right but i think what you do need is strong foundations in algorithms or like these and, and these are covered in undergraduate curriculum and i think time has come that if this field as it progresses, I think more people will start hopefully focusing back on foundations, which I think is very important.